swapping out their properties. However, they also face one big problem, and that is that the properties that they are buying next will be priced high too. So I will be sharing some tips on how we can look for units with up to $100,000 discount in today's resale market. Now, this not only helps the buyers to save money, but they are also able to lower their risk by being able to exit easier than others in the future. So take for example these two units at Durminton. Both are having the same facing, 11th floor transacted at 1.15 million, while in the same month, just four storeys down, 7th floor exchange hands at 1.05 million. Guys, that's a $100,000 difference for the same exact unit type. So the difference in views won't be too far off, and considering the price gap of $100,000, the 7th floor can easily make use of the money to renovate his unit extensively. So I'll actually say that the 7th floor got a pretty good deal, isn't it? Now, considering that both units were available in the market at the same time, how do we know which unit actually had the chance of selling cheaper? So we can see very clearly here that the 11th floor unit which sold at 1.15 million was bought from an owner who paid 1.23 million for it. So this means the previous owner for the 11th floor was actually selling at a loss, $80,000 to be exact. He's unable to sell too low as this would mean taking on more losses, so his price was actually more firm. However, if we look at the 7th floor and why he was able to buy it at a $100,000 discount was because it was easier to negotiate with the previous owner who only paid $853,000 for it. So this owner was actually more than happy to lower the price by $100,000 and knowing he still made a cool profit of close to $200,000. So the real challenge is this, is that most listings today will all be asking for the same selling price. So we need to identify such opportunities so that they will not miss out on these units to other buyers. And in fact, they will go straight to the units that can lower their prices from the start. So now that you have seen how I select resale units for my buyers, we also have to make sure we give our buyers the best advantage by pointing them to the right project. So what makes a project good? Besides the developers having good reputation, good designs and layouts, we also need to run some numbers. So generally in Singapore, the newer the property, the higher the per square feet. So I will be using this area, Pasir Ris Grove, as a real-life case study. There is a total of five condos side by side here and I'm going to sort them by the edge with the newest on top. And we can see the newest in the area is Coco Pumps which TOP'd in 2018 and prices were an average of $1,200 per square feet. It is then followed by Dines in 2017 with an average of $1,000 per square feet. So for this one year difference, there is a $200 price gap. Meaning to say that the other properties that are older than Dines should naturally follow the same price gap. However, we can see here that Pallet, which TOP'd in 2015, was averaging at $1,000 per square feet as well. It is followed by NV Residences in 2013 at $900 and Livia 2011 at almost close to $900 per square feet too. So this meant that the price for Dines, which was the second newest in the area, was going for the same price as all the other older properties. And the price gap between Dines and Coco Pumps, which was just one year apart, was a huge $200 per square feet. So I was very in favour of Dines and I urged my customers to kickstart their property hunt from Dines. So doing the homework this way will help greatly to determine which project to zoom in first. And this gives my buyers the head start they will need. In fact, these numbers I've shown you earlier were from the time frame of November 2020 to May 2021. So in fact, the nest today already averages at $1,133 per square feet. And that is $100 per square feet growth for the average pricing. So for the buyers who could only consider resale back then, I'm very happy for them as they too can enjoy potential capital gains like their new project neighbours. Now using this method, you can also spot undervalued new properties that will give you the same or more advantage. Now in the start of 2020, Coco Pumps being the newest in the area, commanded a high $1,200 to $1,300 per square feet. However, just one MRT away at Tampanese, which some feel is a better location, Treasure at Tampanese was only averaging at $1,300 per square feet. Now this meant that a brand new property is almost the same price as a resale one. Which is why I also urge buyers to expand their options to Treasure at Tampanese if they could wait. So sure enough, today Treasure at Tampanese is already averaging at $1,400 per square feet 
and most units who enter back then are already seeing very healthy gains of up to $200,000. So I have also done up a series of videos on analysing this project and you can catch it in the link down below. So guys, that's it for today and I hope that you have learned a thing or two here. If you have found this video useful, do remember to share this with someone you think can benefit from it. Also, do help me to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos with content like this. Once again, my name is Joel and I'll see you soon.